They were overseas fighting for what they believe in, in our freedom and a just cause. However, 6,700 6, have died. Over 300,000 have traumatic brain injury and 400,000 have post-traumatic stress disorder. These are just a few numbers that the Wounded Warrior Foundation has collected. I'm, my name is Spencer Doyle, and I am a program manager for the Wounded Warrior Project, a foundation that supports its soldiers veterans who have come home wounded or have died and supports the families also. Um, we have over 41,000 uh, alumni um, who are part of the program and who have actually found the Wounded Warrior Project a success. We are trying to increase this number greatly. Um, and we also have helped over 5,000 families. Um, and with this, a great um, Under Armour has been a great help. Y'all have been one of our greatest sponsors by providing us one million dollars over uh, two and a half years, starting in August of 2013. Um, Y'all have set up the backpack program. This is was on your website, but recently has sold out, which I'm very grateful. Um, we have, you guys have sold over 17,000 backpacks. These backpacks do not go to the buyer. These backpacks go to the bedside of a newly wounded soldier. And these soldiers have had raving compliments about these backpacks, how it showed hope, how, they, how these backpacks helped them through their um, injuries. And we cannot thank you all enough for this. You also have a dedicated page for our project on your website, and we cannot, we just cannot thank you enough for how much support you all have given us. What I'm here today to ask for you is, we would like to reunite 10 servicemen from the 101st Airborne, who over a year's period all got injured. Some have gotten amputations of the leg or from the waist down. And we'd all we would like to reunite them in a big trip that we're going to do this summer. And we're going to ask for your support in this trip. Um, this trip is um, formed um, from these 10 soldiers who have just requested that they, they have not seen each other since their injuries. They really want to show their support and just meet back together. So we're asking for your sponsorship and our um, and our well-being to help them out with their dream. Um, yes, y'all are going to give us $1 million over a two and a half year period. And we are so thankful for that. But I'm asking for another $25,000 for a sponsorship for this, um, for this helicopter hunting trip. Each of these servicemen uh, has served at least two tours of duty in Iraq or Afghanistan. And these servicemen have given life or and limb and have seen their fallen comrades um, die or get fatally injured or wounded. Um, as you can see on the uh, second to last page is the um, Cedar Ridge Aviation. We're going to use Cedar Ridge because they don't do traditional walk and hunt. Since these uh, servicemen have been injured, below the waist, they cannot walk that far. This is a helicopter hunting trip, which gives these men the ability to get, have enjoyment while also being able to do all the activities they can. Uh, Cedar Ridge has given us um, three extra hours on, um, in the air for the hunt. They have also provided lodging for two extra, for a day, for an extra day. Um, we, we're also doing helicopter hunting because it also follows our mind, body, and um, involvement. Our three main points that we like uh, to keep soldiers involved with their community, um, stay active, and keep their mind where, um, safe from PTSD and other um, mental injuries. Um, yes, 
Um, all these men have been injured. Um, mentally though, they are stable. Um, there's no PTSD. Um, we made sure of this because we will be shooting guns in the helicopters and we do not want them to have a, um, symptoms from the guns and go into a cycle. Um, but we would like for you all to sponsor this because we know that your mission is to help the soldiers overseas and to provide, um, provide the best care that we can. Um, that's also what Wounded Warrior Project does. Most 97% of our funds that we make over the year go to wounded soldiers and to how we get them their prosthetic limbs, how we pay for their medical bills, how we actually help them out. Um, so this is just one big thing that we would like to do for these 10 soldiers. Um, and um, it's, this will also be showed on the Outdoor channel. Um, and we'll make sure that if you all sponsor this, your name will be first and the biggest as one of our biggest sponsors and one of our best companions throughout the years. How much does it cost to sponsor 10 soldiers? Uh, on the last page, it says it will cost $24,000. That's the complete trip. Um, we, have, uh, we have other sponsors, such as United, who are giving them free airfare to the uh, location. We also have Cedar Ridge Aviation, who is sponsor giving us free meals and uh, dis and some discounted rates also. Um, and we really thought y'all might want to be uh, joined into this effort and to give these 10 soldiers one of the best trips of their lives. Is this the first trip that you've done, that no. you've worked with this group? Um, Not this particular 10 soldiers, but. We have done other trips. Um, we've done, we went out uh, hunting, uh, dove hunting and bird hunting, we have done deer hunting before, and these trips have proven one of the best ways to get the soldiers re-engaged and to act, uh, being active and they're happy and them being happy. We have also had a great success in uh, bringing back camaraderie between the soldiers and their uh, past comrades. Um, I remember two years ago, I set up a, a, a bird hunting trip out in Montana and uh, the two soldiers who went on that were so grateful for it. And after that, their families told me that it was, they changed their life, it was turned around. Um, they got re-involved into their community. They, they, um, they became more active. They started connecting with more people and it's just a great option for them. So all I'm asking is the, the support of Under Armour one of our greatest companions to, um, for this helicopter holocaust. Um, and these soldiers will have the best trip of their life. So how do our missions align? Um, your mission is to help the soldiers um, overseas and at home. And those are our missions too. We give your wounded work project, we help soldiers who are get wounded and their families who have lost a soldier overseas. We help them with financial, we help them actively, we help them uh, psychiat psychiatric, or psychiatrically. psychiatrically, and we also help them with their community, community engagement. We also provide um, financial support to the families and soldiers who have come back injured because some of these soldiers come back with uh, double amputation or um, a full uh, lower waist amputation. And that's really hard to find work. And we help them find this work. And we uh, also pay for the medical bills, as I said before. And it's just something we've done for years. We've, we're still helping veterans from World War II. We've been around a while. And it's just one great thing that we've been doing and y'all have been supporting us for a long way. So, so Spencer, when you talk about uh, prosthetics and um, psychiatric or psychological assistance and um, all of that really sounds core uh, to us wanting to help, I have to 
say personally for myself, when I think about a hunting trip, it's, it, I'm not saying it, does, it, it doesn't do the things that you say, but there's something about that that, let's see, what's there's another word besides smacks? There's a disconnect. Okay, thank you. Uh, it just seems like um, the other people who still need uh, help, and then these other people are going on a trip, uh, I'm not real sure that's where we need to be spending the money. Um, I, thank you for that uh, question. I see where you're saying. Um, we made, we uh, get over four million dollars in donations a year. Forty million. Four. Four. Okay. Um, and ninety-seven percent of that goes to prosthetics and um, things like that. But the smaller percentage goes to programs to help them get re-energized and back engaged engaged into the community. And this is one of these programs that we do. We take them on the trips. And since these 10 soldiers really wanted to reconnect with each other, um, we decided to fulfill their dream. So my question is, was this, did they sign up like they all want to reconnect, but they agreed like this hog hunt yes, they, that they wanted to do? And, it was like the best option since some of them have um, lower limb amputations. They cannot go on regular hunting trips where you walk around. This is the best because if you have no lower body, you still are able to move around in the helicopter on the seat and be able to hunt from the air while still covering the distance and having fun. So what are some of the other options of activities that are, don't do with hunting? Um, some of the other options for this group specifically? No, just for just some um, of your groups in the past. Some of our other groups, we've done, um, we've done um, uh, community groups where uh, veterans in a certain community meet up, say, every weekend at 10 or something, and they talk about everything, they reconnect. Um, we've done parades. Um, we've done uh, hikes walks, uh, outdoor activities, boating, um, stuff like that. Okay, thank you. Um, well, thank you so much for your time, and uh, I hope y'all um, help us out.